thing. Everyone else has it. We should have it. And it used to be a mecca of boxing. Boxing has Absolutely. kind of lost uh, some market share, for lack of a better word. It's been picked up by MMA. Uh, another issue that is somewhat controversial, a new poll just came out from Siena College. 57% uh, of New York voters now approve of legalizing medical marijuana. And there have been some bills circulating up in Albany. Uh, Professor Castelli, where do you stand on, on legalizing medical marijuana? I know you used to be a state trooper, uh, and that may color your, your opinion, but what do you think about legalizing medical marijuana? Well, as you know, I was in the state police. I did narcotics investigations. I was a criminal justice professor for 15 years. I think at the end of the day, if you're talking about medical marijuana for the terminally ill only, I don't have a problem with that. But the bills that I have seen come down the pike in the two years that I've been up there have had you getting medical marijuana prescriptions for everything more than a hangnail. Uh, and those things I do not agree with. I don't think it should be legalized. I don't think marijuana should be legalized. And I don't think medical marijuana for unilateral purposes, just because you've got a headache or a hangnail, should be legalized. For the terminally ill, yeah, I think we need to be empathetic for them. So if the right bill came along, you might support it? Yes. All right. What do you think, Shelley? Well, I, I, I think there are new models, and I think Connecticut just passed a very interesting uh, change from the way it's done in California, which is much more restricted. But as someone, you know, I, I always remember my mother talking about her sister dying and, at, you know, at her home and suffering through cancer. And I know had medical marijuana been available for someone young suffering and dying, it would have made a big difference for her and for all of those who loved her. So that's very much at the top of my mind is that we, we need to find a way to do it. Yes, we may have to compromise. I don't disagree with Bob to find the right bill. But let's, again, let's not let, let that stand in the way of doing the right thing, which is we need to provide this to those who, who will be able to endure more with the, uh, with the benefits of medical marijuana. Yeah, and if you do, you know, legalize medical marijuana and tax it, that's another revenue stream for the state. That's not always bad either. It is uh, Memorial Day weekend. Mr. Costelli, you're a veteran. Did you want to say something uh, about the holiday weekend? Well, certainly. As you know, Brian, this is the time when we honor all of those who've made the supreme sacrifice for the United States. We'd like to honor them all. It is the weekend for that. We'd like to honor them every other day of the year. Our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines have sacrificed much for us, and those who've made the supreme sacrifice should be honored this weekend. All right. We thank you for your service, both of you up in Albany. Thank, thank you for you. joining us on a holiday weekend. That's it for this edition of Newsmakers. Thank you to Shelley Mayer and Bob Costelli. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, folks. I'm Brian Connie Bell.